Hello, I'm Sarah Jensen, editor of OEM Off Highway, and welcome to our new video series, Design and Engineering Insights. Today, I'll be speaking with Mr. Matsushita, president of Kubota Engine America, and Mr. Shiozaki, manager of sales promotion group at Kubota Corporate. I want to thank you gentlemen for joining me today and for wanting to discuss Kubota's micro-hybrid engine technology. So if we can start with you uh, providing an overview of the micro-hybrid system and how it works and some of the benefits it offers. Kubota's micro-hybrid system consists of base engine, motor generator, lithium-ion battery pack, DC-DC converter, and controller. And motor generator is replaced with the alternator. That means our microhybrid system is simply driven by the belt. During normal operation, the battery is charged, and if the additional power is required, our microhybrid system will assist the power. So it is a very simple system and succeeds the merit of engine. Um, and so could you maybe talk a little bit about the assi power assist capability that it has? Um, what maybe is the benefit of that, of having that aspect? Yes, uh, we are using a motor generator instead of alternator, and this is the capacity of 10 kilowatt. So it's kind of like a small uh, motor, but uh, this is just enough to assist or boost of the power for the uh, total system. Okay. And how much of a boost can it provide to the system? Uh, approximately uh, 80 Newton meter at the low engine RPM. So, uh, for example, <coughs> uh, our micro system can work with a 3.3 diesel engine at the beginning and this uh, system can be placed with a 3.8 liter diesel engine because of the 10 kilowatt assist is just <coughs> large enough to support this 3.8 uh, liter diesel engine. Um, so can we you maybe kind of uh, talk about what are some of the aspects or features mm -hmm. that yeah. set system apart from other yeah. systems that might be available in the market? Yes, uh, our microhybrid can give the OEM manufacturer more design flexibility and uh, optimization. And, and to the user of the equipment, uh, our microhybrid system can give the efficiencies and the total cost of ownership. Uh, regarding the flexibility, our microhybrid system can use smaller size of engine to match with the required power output. So the smaller engine uh, means more space uh, will be available for the equipment. For example, if the engine is used above 56 kilowatt, usually SCR system is required, but our microhybrid system can uh, add 10 kilowatt on top of the 55 kilowatt of engine power. So that means we can eliminate the complicated SCR system and reduce the fuel consumption by using downsized engine. So this will give the user, user of the machine more efficiency and reduce operational cost without sacrificing the performance. Mm. Okay. And is the system easy for an OEM to install, or what may they have to? What might be the process for that? Yeah, actual engine size itself is the same as original engine, almost. And uh, in addition to the engine, we need to uh, install the battery. So this this is the uh, additional space required. But the, 
it's small size of battery. Okay. Okay. Oh, can I add one thing? Sure. Yes. Uh, on top of what Matt just uh, mentioned, the uh, the power takeoff part is the identical with the uh, conventional engines. So from the OEM perspective, uh, they are required for less work to replace with the conventional engines. Yeah, so the interface between transmission and engine is identical as the traditional engine. So from that part, I think uh, OEM has a less work for the uh, designing. Okay, great. Thank you. All right. Um, what are some of the applications that this system um, mm -hmm. can fit into or might be best suited for? Yeah, in many different applications, we can offer our micro hybrid system. And we like to introduce the diesel engine version with a 55 kilowatt plus 10 kilowatt uh, motor generator first. But uh, we are capable to offer uh, other engines such as uh, LPG engines and gasoline engines. So I can see great benefit in forklift, AWP, and wheel loader type applications. Mm. And for those applications, maximum power may be required in very short period of time. Kubota micro hybrid system can boost maximum torque instantaneously in short period of time. So these three applications are I think it's best fit. Okay. And is there maybe a sort of a size limit to the type of applications in which it can be used currently? Or is, is will that just kind of develop over time? The I think kind of develop over time, but again, I like, we like to start with 55 kilowatt boundary <laughs> because mm -hmm. of, uh, 55 kilowatt can uh, offer a big advantage by not using a SCL system. But the same, we can offer the 37 kilowatt engines or 19 kilowatt engines, but we would like to start with 55. Okay. All right. Well, great. Um, did you have anything else you would like to add or have our audience know about the micro hybrid system? I think our system is very simple and uh, very practical. So, <laughs> I think our system does not degrade any existing engine. As Shiozaki mentioned, we can use same power takeoff, including inside the PTO. So I think this is just additional uh, power mm -hmm. to enhance engine power. Okay, that's great. Well, thank you very much for talking with me today about the Kubota's micro hybrid system. I really appreciate it and looking forward to uh, hearing about more developments from it, about it going into the future. So thank you very much. Thank you very much for your time.